So what I want to show you and tell you is a coin I keep. And really it's more the story behind this coin is more interesting than the coin. But this is a 400 year old silver Spanish coin. The pirates call it a piece of eight. And this goes back to the days of the Spanish conquistadors. 19th, well, 1622 to be specific. The coin was actually fabricated and minted, as it were, in South America. And the Spanish, as I said, were looting the Incas, and they made the Incas process the gold and silver. So they would put the iron holes on it and pound it with the sledgehammer and put the impressions that you see on it now. And that's done by hand. That is done by hand, and it was done in South America. And then they would take all of these gold and silver coins they had fabricated and once a year ship them back to Spain to make King Philip a world power, the wealth. Well, what happened in 1622, once a year loaded it all the gold and silver under a treasure ship, really, named it as the Atashi. So the squadron was going through the space between Cuba and the Florida Keys that today we call the Straits of Florida. And while sailing through there, they were caught by a severe storm and the Atasha went down. And then about 1985 or thereabouts, another treasure hunter named Mel Fisher had one thing the other treasure hunters did not have. He had somebody involved with a historian. Over 400 years, the underwater currents carried this, scattered this stuff over many, many square miles of ocean floor. And worse than that, it blew sand on top of it. And that's where they found, eventually they found the gold and silver, and also found some canyons and anchors. Uh, of course, they brought them up. It was not in one place, it was all over many, many square miles, but they brought them up a piece at a time. And one of the more intriguing things they brought up was black cubes of stuff. It looked like it's a big cinder block. The Spanish minting thousands of silver coins, such as the one I showed you, or even gold coins, they put them in wooden boxes, about so big. And just as the wood of the ship decayed and washed away, so did the wooden boxes. And in the time it took the wooden boxes to rot and disappear, marine growth attached itself to the coins. It didn't attack the metal, it just attached itself to it, so that was the black stuff that made it all stick together. So that's the story of how the piece of eight that I have came to be.